Welcome to 2024, you sexy freaking chooms. I figured we'd start the new year with a bang, literally, and show the location of all the new iconic weapons that came with Cyberpunk Patch 2.1. Hint, hint, there's quite a few. And unless you live under a rock, you already know that Cyberpunk's got some of the best weapons around. So sit back, keep those pants unzipped, and let's start with the first one. The Achilles X Mod 2. The Achilles is a badass upgrade of the Militech M179 with a short scope and improved weapon handle. And it's hidden in the secret man cave of old man Jacobs. Fast travel to the Golden Pacific in Dogtown and follow the road left until you're standing in front of the bootleg Luxor. The cave is across the street here, so climb the bridge to your right and run over. Over. Follow it to the end, and you'll know you're near when kids start running. Squeeze your little solo tush through the opening, and there you'll find the cave of the senile. On the bed is the Achilles, as well as a case with a net running shard and other random loot. The nearby laptop spills tea about old man Jacobs, who apparently pays kids to clep black lace in exchange for burgers. A juicy exchange, I'd say. There ain't much else but a cool drawing of a chicken on the wall, plus a Banksy-esque portrait of our favorite imaginary terrorist. Cute. <laughs> And since we're close, there's actually a pretty cool movie easter egg nearby. If you head outside of Old Man Jacobs' cave and follow the bridge all the way right, you'll eventually reach an abandoned apartment. The room has two chairs, a dusty TV set, and a couple of pills on a stand. The pills should be a dead giveaway. And no, it's not a crappy Left 4 Dead reference. Pills here! It's the Matrix. Take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. The red pill versus blue pill. Cool, huh? Up next is the BBC 9000. Oops, I meant BFC. BBC is actually my friend Hogan's favorite category. If you're listening, Choom, I love you. Fast travel to the solar power station in Santo Domingo. We're going to drive to the parking lot at this curve here. When you get there, park and walk towards the cliff. Hug the edge so you don't fall, and you'll spot a crashed AV and a lookalike Jay-Z on the other side. The Choom's a feisty one, so take care of him from a distance. When you loot his body, you'll find a shard and the big behemoth of a weapon. The Choom is Hugo Selvig, and he was off to film an XBD with this beautiful specimen until he got distracted and crashed. You can't blame him, I mean, look how big it is. Thankfully, Hugo won't be needing it anymore. I also want to add that it should be called the BFH 9000 instead. Big f***ing headache. That's because it was so damn hard to find. I don't know if it was just me, y'all, but it took forever to get this weapon to spawn. I tried multiple times before I had to boot a really old save and re-enable nudity to get it. Let me know if anyone else had this issue. The BBC is a damn fine weapon, but I don't know if it's worth the headache over the pink surf Alistair. Plus, getting Patrick Starr's arm means you also get that super sexy private time with Mama Meredith. And what crazy Choom doesn't like that? A much easier weapon to find is the Claw X Mod 2. I know, I know. I'm getting tired of the names with X too. X-Men, X-Hamster, X. The list goes on and on. This one is right on top of the Heavy Hearts Pyramid. So put on your best Assassin's Creed cosplay and get jumping. When you reach the top, you'll find the axe conveniently stuck on the tip. Sort of like a Prince Albert. How it got there, we'll never know. So just take the weapon and dip. It's a pretty damn strong weapon, but I much prefer Thor's axe. But this one also gets the job done. The MA-70 is the newest iconic light machine gun that might be the hardest on this list to get. It requires body 10, so if you have stick arms, juice up a little more, then come back. The easiest way is to fast travel to the Luxor High Wellness Point in Dogtown and head to this part of the map here. You'll find two gongs tagging up a crashed helicopter. Use your body stat to rip open the door and find the weapon and a shard inside. The helicopter belonged to Militech, who as part of a failed rescue operation, was shot down by Arasaka fighter jets and landed in Dogtown. Rest in peace, but also, the idea that both Arasaka and Militech have highly advanced super jets is a pretty damn cool mental image. Please let that be a thing in Cyberpunk 2.
The Umbra is the last iconic weapon in a unique location. You can find it at the Wild Blue Hotel near the Terra Cognita Waypoint. Fast travel to Terra Cognita, ice the goons out front, and follow the electric wire. You'll see that it can be traced into the building past some metal sheets. If you skip time ahead to 4 a.m., the metal sheets will be gone and you can head inside. However, if you're still having trouble, try reloading an earlier save. Make sure you did the airdrop mission in the area as well. This one's a bit bugged just like the BBC 9000. If it's still not open, you can glitch inside. Make sure to save this as it'll take a while. Call up Jackie's Arch and back that thing in here. It's much easier to control going in reverse. Once you're in, head to the back and call another motorcycle. If you call it just at the right spot where the hallway begins, the motorcycle will appear above. I recommend walking instead of running and spamming the call vehicle button. You get more precise that way. Once it's summoned above you, use Jackie's Arch to head back outside. Jump onto the ledge with the opening and use remote takeover on the bike. While you're controlling the bike, you'll want to gently push yourself off the edge. That'll let you hop on and glitch inside. Don't be sad if it takes you a hot minute. It took me a damn hour to try this method. Walk to the back and you'll find a sleeping Chum undergoing shock therapy. Poor guy got electrocuted and you can read more about him on the shard he left behind. Long story short, the dude was a weeb and he was dead set on holding himself up here with food, resources, and anime. Oh, the power of anime. My man, what's going on? Everything good? I am, y yeah. What's up, Chu? You need something? But in all the prep work, he electrocuted himself. Probably should have worn rubber gloves. Remember, Chums, never forget protection. The Umbra is on the bed at the end. Grab it and go. It's probably my least favorite weapon of the set. So imagine my frustration when I went through all that work to get it and swapped it out no more than 10 seconds later but it's still cool, I guess. It took pretty good care of these scabs here, so I can't complain. The remaining new iconic weapons, from the Chesapeake submachine gun, Foxhound sniper, Amstaff shotgun, Catahoula tech pistol, Chinook power rifle, and Mr. Worldwide assault rifle, are now part of the airdrop rotation in Dogtown. Meaning if you see that red smoke smoking, you better go and grab your loadout fast. All of them were previously part of the Amazon Prime gaming set, and share the same characteristics. The damage of all the weapons scale with movement speed, and you get 4% increased movement movement speed every time you ice an enemy. This stacks up to 5 times, meaning after 5 kills, you'll move 20% faster and do significantly more damage to the gonks of Night City. You're like a cracked out scout from Team Fortress 2 bunny hopping and blowing loads. I'm so damn proud of you. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe. Also, consider becoming a YouTube member to help support the channel and get your juicy Pan Am pictures. I also showed a massive dong on stream, so this video is probably going to get demonetized. But whatever. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.